Our next guests are Live at Five, are two of today's most acclaimed jazz musicians. Grammy Award winner George Benson, whose album Breezin' remains the best-selling jazz album of all time. And Earl Clue, whose many albums, including the Grammy-winning One on One, have earned him accolades for his distinctive jazz guitar. Recently, George and Earl got together, and the result is a hot new album called, appropriately enough, Collaboration. It is indeed a pleasure to have you both here. There are several reasons for this uh, collaboration. I can name a few. I'm sure you can name a few. That is certain. Not uh, only the fact that we are very good friends and have been since I first heard Earl play as a teenager a few years ago. And at that time, I invited him to play on an album I recorded called White Rabbit. Since then, I had him uh, asked him to join the group, which he did for about a year. Then uh, he was discovered and started making his own albums. And uh, now we're on the same record label, so it makes all the sense in the world. Well, you're on the record. same level, that label. Now, I thought mm -hmm. that you weren't, and that's why you had a problem getting your schedules together to record. Initially, that was the uh, problem. Uh, I was on... Uh, couple of record labels and George has been on uh, uh, Warner Brothers the whole duration of the time I was on Blue Note and Capitol and I've been on Warner's now for two years so this was a very good opportunity for us to get together and put our project together. Well you've done the record, you've done the video, what about concerts? Yes we have something planned for this fall, yes. Free I have my own tour which is coming up uh, on the 27th, a couple of days mm -hmm. and I'm doing four weeks. Uh, throughout the country in the major markets, you know, and uh, when that's over, then we can start putting together our tour. And uh, you don't have any set dates at this point, but you will. No, you well, will. we have to come through New York. We we've got to. <laughs> um, the advantages um, of performing together, working together, of of one playing acoustic and one playing electric guitar. Well, there are a lot of uh, advantages uh, in that we don't play exactly the same instrument. Acoustic guitar and uh, electric guitar uh, together have a blend, especially George and I. We have a very unique uh, formula that uh, George and I put together 15, 16 years ago, where we sort of play unison melodies uh, on top of each other, but uh, chordally, not single notes. And uh, it's uh, a very unique sound that uh, kind of came up with, worked out years ago. And uh, Kind of worked out. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you can't really do that with two acoustic guitars or two electric guitars, so it works very well for us. Is it a myth that uh, solo guitarists uh, rarely like to work together? Is that a myth? Well, it depends on your attitude. If you're a person who has a tremendous ego and you don't like to recognize that other people have talent too and deserve to be heard, uh, it can get in the way of some wonderful things that could happen, such as has happened in this case. Um, I'm a person who loves to hear another person with a fine idea and to get in on it and get some of that glory for myself. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily ego, but it's a person who's smart. And he says, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity for me. Uh, music lovers years ago got all involved in doodling banjos. Uh, as players, is there ever that urge to do that and then the danger of, of uh, upstaging each other? <laughs> I think in some cases people like to see that kind of thing, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary uh, to get a point across. I think our first duty is to come off as musicians, mm -hmm. to sound, you know, to make music sure. first. Live performances, there's plenty of time for that. I think people enjoy that as, if, as long as you have it in the right spirit, you know, but not for the sake of uh, showing each other up, you know. Well, both of you are fine musicians. What makes a star, aside from the talent, aside from the talent, the the other more subtle things that maybe a fan, a record buying fan, might not be aware of. Well, George would be better uh, able to answer that question. <laughs> Why? Oh, you know, you're a star. <laughs> no, come on, come on. You're definitely now you don't have to make records with him. You're not worried about it. <laughs> well, let me just say one thing uh, and, and date myself a little. Back when, when I was a kid and my father was a musician, I think that he had a problem with discipline in that he laid around the house a lot during the day because he worked hard at night. But these days, you have to put that fatigue aside and, and do some other things. That's for certain. Uh, you know, it's, it's a matter of uh, how the public perceives you, that's who makes the stars. It's the people. If they buy what you're doing and they, and they rave about you, then they tell the media, hey, this is what we want. Now, whatever it is you're trying to sell us, keep it for yourself. But mm -hmm. this is our man, you know, and so forth and so on. I revere that. To me, that is the most important element that, that I have that says what kind of future I'm going to have. Because without that, especially in the kind of society that we have, we're mm -hmm. not supported by governments. You know, we support it by the public. So they represent a tremendous part in my life, and I'd rather play for them than critics. 
And I have elected to do that to the chagrin of many of my oh, yeah. critiques. Oh, yeah. People <laughs> want you to stay as they first heard you. That's true. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and this can't always be. Uh, Earl, uh, you said in, in print uh, recently that uh, George Benson is the um, greatest contemporary guitarist uh, of, of his time. What's this going to do with uh, when you work with uh, other guitarists in the future? Well, you work with the best. I can't. I can't play with you, Earl. Oh no, there's a lot of great guitar players. But I, I meant that when I said that. You know, mm -hmm. George has had the the widest reaching influence of uh, any living guitar player. I think you know, outside of myself, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is certainly a mutual admiration situation because I think George, you've said that uh, you heard the first six bars of Earl years ago, and uh, you knew that it was a good thing. Let me remind our viewers that the name of the album is Collaboration, and we should look forward to seeing them. I guess in the fall, the winter, whenever they can hook up and then mutually uh, free their schedules, they will be together. And we we thank you for coming by. On thank, you. Five today. thank you. Thank you. That is much. our program.